Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to hang out at Dome with Her World. Yes, it's uh, slightly ahead than our usual timing. Usually we come on once a month, but this month we're coming on twice for something special in conjunction with Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day is far, far away still. Don't worry. Not yet time to buy present, but because we do eat during the hangout, so we can't do Mother's Day during fasting month. Fasting month. So we're having it now, uh, so that we can still enjoy our delicious food courtesy of Dome Cafe Malaysia and our delicious coffee. Um, so here today, oh, I'm so excited. I'm always excited. I know people are getting tired probably of me saying she's always excited. What is she talking about? Different topics, so all excited. Yes, always excited because I have a great uh, panel of guests today. And the issue we're talking about is about teaching kids to be brave. I think we can't assume that kids automatically are brave. Mm. And for me, I grew up with, uh, you know, with my family members not all being um, open to us girls, especially being so brave, you know. I mean, yes, different generation from now. I think my daughter is overly brave, which is totally different. So I'm just going to introduce, I'm still waiting to two, for two more guests. Uh, they're on the way. Wait, I think I, I, see I see her, I see her, she's coming. But uh, let me just introduce on my right, I have Rachel Quaz. And Rachel Quaz is a child, develop, child and family development specialist and women's leadership speaker and writer see okay and this lady here i think you all listen to her all the time i also listen to her all the time frida louis and frida a liu liu oh sorry i always confused i'm sorry frida don't kill me okay anyway sorry i'll make up for that um frida is an author radio host and done line line she said one <laughs> she said <laughs> So many other things, I think. I see Frida going from like business conferences to social events to your hosting things. Uh, I don't know, she's through everywhere. Holidays. Uh, through holidays, <laughs> posing with yellow, yellow bikini all. Yeah, I saw all that, sorry. This is what happened when... Um, I do have another guest. Uh, hold on, Daphne. Sorry, we have to miking you. Uh, oh, you are miking? Oh, come, come. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. You'll find out why. <laughs> yes. Uh, so come with the topic, eh? Yes. yes. It has to happen. You see, then it's real. Yeah. Wow. Her face very ketat right now. I scared already. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Yes. We were trying to see whether you would come in a shade of pink as well, or. Oh, no, 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 uh, good friend, uh, I also don't know. So many other things, huh? Ina's big supporter as well, and I, I, you know, I'm very happy to have you. Thank you Thank so much. You. Uh, I know Joe is coming. Yeah. Um, we felt that, okay, truth is, we first invited Joe, okay? Because we wanted a man's perspective on this topic. And then Joe insists, must bring Daphne. So, okay, lah, why not? <laughs> Good so, <laughs> <laughs> you, you so yeah. yeah, sorry lah, Daphne. Sometimes, you know, sometimes. I'll be sweating already. Okay, sorry, a little technical thing, but that's we are. What's the good thing about being going live? Keep it real. Yeah, we are very real. Never mind. We will continue talking. Um, I've only sort of learn about Rachel recently. Uh, she, did a, she did a podcast for us uh, on our Musing Moms podcast on herinspiracy.com. So if you want to listen to our podcast, which was really cool what Rachel had to say, I think. A lot of cool things she had to say about parenting. Um, 
And I met Frida because we just ran a, a Women's Day mm. campaign. Yes. Um, and then I went to her book launch and I saw the people she was, you know, constantly surrounded by and we met again and then after, then after a while again. we kept meeting each other after that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Who's stalking who? I don't know, that's why she said, are you stalking me? I'm like, I don't think so, but <laughs> <laughs> if you insist. So yeah, so teaching our kids to be brave. Um, one of the things that I was thinking about when I thought about the topic was is there a difference between teaching boys to be brave and girls to be brave? Should there be a difference? I mean, you know, previous generation, maybe it's always like, oh, let the boys be brave, the girl never mind, you know. But we're changing, you know, things are changing, obviously. Oh, yes, welcome to the Hello, girls. panel. I'm so sorry. Yes, you know, this is... <laughs> Yes, we are going to be talking about yeah, kids. Yes, yes. I've yes. you know, got to be brave for them now. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so we have Joe. Joe is uh, Daphne's, how do you say that? Manager. Man, man manager. Manager slash husband. So which one first? So I don't know. Everything lah. Everything except the boss. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can believe what he says. So anyway, we've kind of jumped into the question. And we were just going to talk about difference of teaching boys to be brave and girls to be brave. Should there be a difference? I am quite aware that previous generation, we don't always teach girls to be brave, lah, right? We always kind of focus on the boys being brave. If the boy jato, luka, ala, be, you know. You know, get on with it. And then if girls, then we'll be like, oh my god. You know, so it's not really teaching her to be brave. That's a simple example. Eh? Don't call me sexist or anything like that. I'm just playing the That's devil's, devil's yeah, advocate. Devil's advocate. It's very interesting because I had this conversation and I was looking, you know, because the, the questions were sent earlier and I was talking to a friend and the friend said, people always confuse bravery with being tough. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? So being brave doesn't mean I'm tough or, you know, macho, that kind of thing. So that, that being, um, I think my parents have always told me, uh, you know, or let me be who I am, right? And of course, you have to understand also, like with the child, what kind of personality they have. But so this uh, being brave is also being brave to cry, yes. being brave when you're afraid, mm -hmm. right? And to talk about it and not to keep it inside. Mm -hmm. So I, I look at my son, he's almost 17, and he's, he's generally a very sensitive soul. He's so different from the mother. If you look at, if you look at the two <laughs> of us, right? I'm the, you know, I'm the, you know, the, See the, the, tougher the, the, tough, the, the tougher one in that sense on the <laughs> on the exterior, right? So I, I don't have any gender um, expectations from him, right? Mm -hmm. To be who he is, right? I remember when he was young and he was very upset about something. This is not being a crybaby, just upset about a situation in life. And I said, Jude, cry. If you have to cry, cry. If you're angry, angry, just be aware of the people around you. Go to your room, scream, do whatever, right? Don't keep it inside. Don't bottle it. You know, and and that I think is really important, as as we're raising boys, right? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of attention has been given to women about these things, which is great. We talk about women empowerment, but let's not leave boys aside to yeah. be to be real. Yeah. Right? Can so, I just step in? Um, I, you're right there, actually. Actually, boys are now more sensitive than women. I'm not being sexist, also, but I think it's the chicken that we eat. <laughs> There's something. There's something in the. Is there's something in the food that makes, uh, that makes not us, not me, not my generation, but the yes, the younger. I mean, we have boys and we have girls in our in our uh, you know in our kids. Uh. So I I notice our younger boy who's more sensitive now. So. No, going back to your question, I wouldn't want to make him tougher than the girl because I, I look at my girls, they're so independent. They are, as you say, there's a difference between brave and tough. They are more, they are sensitive to certain things that actually men will never understand. But uh, if I ask them to try something in extracurricular, they are more than me though. Know, when I, yeah, the girls. When I see the boy, he's always wary. He's always like, always double thinking it. 
Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump in there. I'm going to jump in there and say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to protect that boy, okay? I'm going to come in and say, let's think about how amazing it is that he's listening to his gut, looking at stuff that says, this scares me. I don't know what to do. And then they're looking to you because you're a mom and dad and you're in the safe place and they're saying, is this safe? Is this okay? They're looking at the older sister doing things that are far beyond their cap his capabilities. So is it is it bad to be afraid? Absolutely not. Is it bad to sometimes feel like you can't get there, like you can't do it. That's okay because I think at every point in our life we've all felt right, like right, yeah. I don't know what to do here. We've all been afraid. And so if we're going to sit there and say, you toughen up, you go do this, go do it right now, go do it. How does that make you feel? Mm. Right? That makes you even more afraid. That makes you say, that's not safe. Yeah. But if we go back and then say, you are really scared right now. You really are are not sure what's going to happen. I'm going to sit here with you, right? I'm going to mm. I'm going to just going to say what is it that you're afraid of? What do you think you could do about it? It's about empowerment. It's about mm. saying mm. I see your fears, I acknowledge your fears. It is hard. It is scary. But we're going to get through this cuz I believe in you and that's what we forget I to tell I need little to kids. Change a bit parenting style. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel might not be so in agreement with something <laughs> I used to do lah, huh? Used to now no lah, like, kids so big already. You know. I think, I think that, so um, for those that don't know, I believe very strongly in respectful parenting, which is against convention because we don't shame, we don't guilt, we don't punish. Um, we don't stick them in a corner and say, toughen up. We say, it's scary and we're going to be brave together. We're going to say, mama is scared sometimes. Um, and the reason why I say this, it comes back to your problem, comes back to your problem, is that so much of my work centers around women's leadership around um, building women up to have a voice, building women up to say, I can be brave, right? There's this, I don't know if you saw this, there's this explosion over the weekend on Machik. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Overnight, they quadrupled their numbers. Mm. 20,000 people follow them now. And all because they started this conversation that says, tell me your secret. Mm. What is your mama's secret? And there was all these women that were vulnerable, that had kept all these feelings mm. inside because they were afraid to tell their husbands. Their husbands. Mm. They were afraid to tell their family, I'm feeling hurt. I don't know what to do. But and then, you think that, yeah. that goes back to like, you know, is that really about being brave and being open or which, which one I is think, it? I think that vul being vulnerable is scary. Yeah. Being vulnerable is the scariest thing you've ever done in your life, right? So then in order to be vulnerable, you have to be brave. Mm. And in order to have relationships, you have to be vulnerable. I think it all connects yeah. together. That bravery is not screaming and shouting. Bravery is sitting there and saying, I am going to authentically be myself. I'm going to own my truth. And that is my hope as a coach, as a specialist, as a mom. My hope is my daughter's going to stand in her truth. She's an introvert, same thing. Yeah, she said, I think because we have such strong personalities that she's an introvert. Do you have an introvert? I, I don't I don't think, uh, yeah, um, my son is my son is basically an introvert as well. I, and he's very good one-on-one -on -one and that's, and, and he will be his own person. Yes. Not whether he'll be his own man, he'll be his own person. And I've come to, I mean, from the get-go, like, I've, I've read a lot of books and all that. That is his personality. I was just saying that when he was young, you know, and to this day, he doesn't like roller coaster rides, right? And it's like, you don't like it? Cool. Mama's afraid of it too. You know, yeah. and, and, and don't make a big deal about these things. And that's that's who he is, right? But I want him to be a, a res respect himself, respect the people around him. That's and, and just be who you are, right? And that's the most important thing that I can give him. And I think speaking of just touching on respecting, the reason why we were had we were a little bit late, sorry, is because no, it's just. Um, <laughs> My daughter is in a bit of a dilemma where both her friends, uh, one friend is closer than the other, and um, but these two friends are not seeing eye to eye, mm. all right? They don't see eye to eye at all, actually. One is bullying well, the other friend, you right? <laughs> you know, and uh, I won't mention names, but it... Uh, no, but but <laughs> so the other, so I told her, I told her, look, Belle, you have to, you have to make a decision because mm. these are both your friends. You have to make that brave decision to stand up because mm. obviously she's afraid of one, the other yeah. person yeah. who is obviously not yeah. being kind to her other friend. Yeah. And that is wrong. And you have to be brave to, unless you feel the same way with right. your friend. If right. you feel you don't like yeah. friend B yeah. and you think that this, it's, 
it's bordering to bullying right. is correct, yes. and that's your decision, yes. then go ahead with that decision. Own your truth. Yeah. yeah. Go and do it. Yes. But I know you like friend B. I know you love her company. Yeah. So be brave and speak up. So that was a little thing. And, and, like, and like you said, we, we need to empower kids by respecting them and listening to them, really listening to yes. them, you know, yes. and, and letting them that chance to talk it out and everything. So that was a little bit of a, you know, and of course the daughter, the other daughter comes in and, you know, kachows and everything. But that's, <laughs> that's so vital. And we wanted to have that little, because we've been busy for the past few days, so we have not seen them awake yet so just now we had a little bit of time and that's why we wanted to just give her that scenario where I said I've, I've, I've been places we've been in places where one friend is unlike you know yeah. but I stand yeah. my ground and I tell my friends look you know I'm friends with this person so I'd rather not you know you don't tell me if you don't like it and everything it's yes. fine mm -hmm. you know or you can tell me but don't expect me to do anything mm -hmm. with that knowledge yeah. you know and and that's just it and and that's part of you know you're growing up. You're going to be Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But I think, uh, just to summarize, we, we, we don't stop summarize parenting. Summarize already. I've just started. You know, don't tell summarize me. Summarize. Summarize what question. this whole thing question. about uh, whether <laughs> men, women, uh, boys and girls, we do it differently. But I think, uh, overall, it's just parenting. Uh, we have to continue parenting them about bravery. You remember one time you were scared or something going out at night and now you hey, there's no such thing as ghosts lah, it's all yeah, bullshit yeah. right? Can we say that? Okay. Uh, so we just have to continue to parent them so that at one point they say, yeah, now I know what my dad is saying, you know, to be brave about something, you know, that's it. Because now maybe they, they, they don't seem brave as you see, but they'll be better in the future once you continue. Doing. I think Daphne hit on this and, and something I believe so strongly um, and a lot of times where I sit down there I, I'm like you know there's this list right parents like we're all parents right there's this list of all the ideal things you want to teach your child and then you take a moment and you say am I doing that in my life yeah. am I standing up for those people that are you know or, or am I or am I like playing the game where it's sort of like uh, don't, don't, don't make anyone mad right and sometimes being brave is letting her see me do hard things um, and talking about it and saying, ah, man, mama was really scared today. And so she's allowed to say, oh, mama gets scared too. Other people get scared. Because then what do they do? They keep it all yeah. inside, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you said that, you know, how you brought up, because I have a son as well, and he's a teenager. And in the, you know, in the beginning, when he was maybe five, six, and he would cry or something, I said, you know, and then I get annoyed that he's crying, you know, I said, I say, hey, don't cry, hey, don't cry lah. Yeah, Why you boy. cry, you know? And then now I'm like, tell me how you, you feel. feel. <laughs> <laughs> you told me so, not to cry. Yeah. <laughs> no, then I, you know, I mean, you know, that, yes. that just, you know, because I understand him so differently. But my son is very, um, like you said, introvert. Mm. But when it's just me and him, the conversations we can mm. have, sometimes I look at him, I say like, how old are you again? Yeah. 15? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You know? So it's interesting to see that that how we change our conversation as the children grows. I think it's not just that they're growing up, it's us learning more about them. So we we are a little bit more educate about, uh, educated about their personality. Yeah, yeah. So we're not just trying to mold them as you're a child. Yeah. Bam, that's your personality for now because you are a child. So I think it's really about learning what your child, you know, have yeah, that serving, yeah. seeing who they are. I think res what respect for parenting is, it is I am going to treat you like a person. I see you as whole, competent, complete and strong yes. from the day you were born. Mm. So, so many times people do this, they treat children a certain way and then magically at 10 or 5 or, or 12, oh you are big you're big now, so you should know how to act. When all this long, all this time along I've said yeah. surprise, suppress your feelings, yeah. don't feel this way. But then at 12, now you can tell me your feelings and it's so confusing. <laughs> right. And we've all been through this. Yep. So many times we have yes. been taught this. Yes. Yeah. Parents we open and analyze also. Then yes. we get into a paralysis yes. analysis. Yes. No, I, I, yeah, because we are more getting more educated as parents with what has happened in the past. Now with internet and all that, we've learned. And then sometimes we watch the Mat Salim movie, we think we want to be like them. But honestly, yeah. sometimes just keep it <laughs> simple and don't be so... I think you have to build your own relationship yeah. in your yeah. family. Rather than, you know, having something to 
berbanding-banding yeah. compared to I think when you're comfortable with one way of lifestyle in your home and with your family I think that should be the way you know rather than oh why didn't I do it that way and then all this mother guilt father guilt are you until okay. when also we're guilty lah you know okay so talking about parents right so one of the things I was you know we briefly someone mentioned just now mm. so should parents always be brave or show a brave side in front of their kids let's oh. talk more oh. in depth about it should we should we always show the number of times my son has seen me cry mm. you know what I mean? it's about about right, you know about things and all that and then you know sometimes he doesn't say anything or when he was younger he'll ask you know but some, now he just sees mom at in all her element, right? And right. she need, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to put on a brave front. I don't need to, you know. These are the things that hurt me. These are the things that uh, I know that for a fact. Like there are certain things he keeps from me, right? Yep. Because he wants to protect his mama. Yeah. You no, know? yeah. so that that because yeah. he's he's come yes. to that point. I said, why didn't he tell me? Not my place to tell you, mom. You know, or that kind of thing. But I know that he's very sensitive about not telling me things, not to keep things away from me, but like knowing these things might hurt me. So he's doing that. But generally, he tells me just about. Everything I like to think so. He's blocked me on Facebook oh. and Instagram, but then he's very upfront, uh, mum, because he always posts baby photos of me. So, yeah, so. And then you, then you post, you don't need to tag him. Then I know. He, never mind lah. Why you don't tag Facebook? him? Then of course lah, he's shy. Yeah, yeah, shy. Don't allow him to have Facebook. He's seventeen. He's seventeen. Hello. Seventeen already, not like. Yeah, I was actually I only allow him Facebook when he was thirteen actually, but you know. <laughs> Now I can't, you know. Yeah. yeah. He was on Snapchat eh, already. But Facebook, ah, for that age, there's old people's game already. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Nobody yeah, is like yeah. innovative. Yeah. Oh. I have Bell's generation, my daughter yeah, Malika's generation. No. They yeah. don't Facebook yeah. anymore. They're like, over the yeah. they're like yeah. IG. They yeah. Over some other DM. Yes. Yeah. 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 You another social media. Yeah. I think Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. Word has it. Because yeah. we're old. <laughs> I think. I think also it's. Um, I mean, as you were saying this, I'm just thinking. But why does brave mean that you uh, you don't cry? Exactly. Right. Yeah, right. right. Why does brave? Does okay, I guilty la. Cry. I always, you know, felt that I didn't want to burden my kids. Yeah. It's not so much about being vulnerable in yeah. front of the kids, but it's I always not, felt yeah, that yeah. it was a burden to them yeah. that it's my my yeah. issue. Yes. Why I want to cry and then make yeah. them feel like, uh oh, oh, do we have yeah. to? help her out or something like that you know because I, I've done that before where right, you know right. I got so frustrated with my son's grades okay. that I burst out into tears mm. it wasn't intentional to but I mean you know lah at that age you know I don't know why I'm so stressed about the grades anyway no. I'm over it I'm not stressed okay. about grades anymore the, yeah yeah I screamed until I was so frustrated that I cried yes. so but the after effect was something that I didn't expect because the next thing happened when he didn't do well he came to me and was very honest, but he cried. And I said, why are you crying? And he said, because I disappointed you. Ah, then I was like, okay, this one cannot, cannot, cannot. I cannot be yes. this way anymore. Yes. So then I realized, okay, maybe I hold back. I mean, you know, I try not to get emotional. Yes. And then it was me fixing my parenting in my yes. head to say like, okay, come on, like, is great expectation really a thing? Do you, you know, he's, he's a kind boy. He's... Oh has a great personality, yes. he speaks to you, he's open, yes. he's respectful of women, blah, blah, yes. I mean, really, yes. whether yes. he so feels, powerful. I mean, like, yes. I think yes. that should matter more than, than needs, yes. you know, this whole, whether he's he got... to be a world leader. Yeah. So, I, 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 yes. now I don't stress about it, yes. but I have to then re-educate him that I'm not stressing about the grade or neither are you a disappointment. Yes. Right. Because he has that in his yes. head that if I fail, yes. I'm a disappointment. Yeah. I was like, Alah, blah, blah, blah. now I have to like, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? You go, you go back to him, like, so respect the parent, he's treating them the way you wish you would treat them. Yeah. You go back to him and you say, you know, I had this conversation when you were young. And I'm really yeah. sorry I said that. And I've, I know. I've so, since learned that I did. I, that's so not now we I have do. such yeah. adult conversations. It's, it's crazy that we have right. such adult conversations, you know, and right. every time, you know, it, we talk about like, girls or things like that. Yeah, 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 mommy, respect women. I know, I know. You don't have to worry about that, you know? Yes. And he's really... Um, now I'm worried that if he's watching. <laughs> but he is so open to communication as well. Um, that when he had like a, you know, friend. Uh, special yeah, right? friend. Special friend. Special <laughs> friend. Like, special friend. 
and yeah. he realized that it wasn't something he wanted to proceed with he had a very open conversation to say like you know this i should not ah uh, wow oh hey bro i la serious ah special to me is like you know special lah uh, oh wow different lah uh. eh tu uh, tak 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 tahu lah macam tu just it got chicks uh, uh, chicks lah so you chicks. know so he was very open to have a conversation with this the girl, the girl wow. to say that this is i do not want to you know pursue, pursue this because wow. we because i feel that i have things i want to do in my time oh. that it is not fair for me to drag wow. you i'm like and that is brave i was like that is brave. are you 15 years yeah. old again no but to realize that he could have yeah. that i looked yeah. at him i said people 40 years old yeah. also don't know how to have, communicate like this you know <laughs> so i was really yeah. i was really surprised that he yeah. managed to get that you know out there yeah and that i mean and that is that is the brave component right yeah i don't it's know lah about me being brave you, in front of the you kids you don't want to do but you feel is authentic yeah. and yes yes yeah. i you, i you know, so yeah i feel that the relationship yeah. between me and my son one i would love it to be like to know that no matter what i love you mm -hmm. and it's always a safe place right that we can have conversations about things and you will not be judged because you are you and I am me and we just that to know that whatever goes on in the world that I can always go home and speak to mama and be in it's safe it's safe there is you know it's safe and that I think is a sign of being brave right. you know you were going to say something there eh? I was gonna say how regardless how brave a front we put yeah. on I remember and, and you're right kids do understand as young as young can be because when I was going through my divorce and she was barely two, I think she was one plus and of course we put on a brave front, right? We put on a brave front but it was really, really, it was a really dark phase in my life and um, so outside she was okay, went inside my room and that was when I was gonna, you know, slit the wrist. And I was really, really depressed, very depressing. I did it, I'm alive, I'm here. But my daughter crawls in, she crawls in and of course you wipe off and it's dark, the room, so she can't see my tears but she senses it, she knows it. So she goes in, she crawls to my lap and just comes and hugs me. And, and that was it. And that's when I knew, oh my God, I cannot, I, yes. I, I need to step out of this, you know, get out of this. Because she didn't see my tears, it was dark. The, the curtains were drawn. And um, no matter what, you, however brave a front you put, the kids can sense it. So you might as well be your authentic self. Yeah. And if you have to cry, cry in front of her and do yeah. it and explain. Yeah. Whether they yeah. understand it or not, just say, I'm so sorry, Mama's a little bit sad right now because I'm going through this, Daddy has left me, da 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 da. You know, and, um, and that's just how it is. Um, so I've been raised, that, that's why when I saw the questions about how are we getting our boys, are, are boys still seen as, you know, they have to be tougher and stronger and braver. I, I think it's because I've, be, I've grown up in a family of um, dominantly strong female figures, both sides, my, pet, my, my father and my mother's side. So it's never been an issue. So it naturally transgressed to my kids. And then having Isidore, we've got an older son, uh, but he's grown up now and he lives with his mom. Um, so I don't get to parent him as much uh, as the other three kids. but. Isidore, and you know, you've got your girls, and then there's Isidore, who's so sensitive. And at the same time, he goes like, rrr, 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 but you know, he tries to tone down when I tell him, like, you know, the okay, girls, you. yeah, the girls are naturally independent. The girls are, you know, mm -hmm. so he, he and I have a lot conversations. of yeah. conversations and discussions in aligning our parenting goals so that it's, you know, consistent. I think let's turn it around and let's ask you, like. You know, do you, do you believe yourself to be brave? Would you say that you are brave? I always tell my kids this. I know we, we always to we always want to advocate lead by example, right? Mm. But I believe in do what I tell you to do. Don't do what I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, that's the best way actually because they won't yeah. understand why sometimes I do this way. I'm wishy washy or I'm not consistent with what I ask them to do. Right. You know, for example, let's just take going out in the dark. You got to be brave. There's nothing out there, right? But at the same time, there might be a penyanga out there waiting at the door, right? I do. I don't want to go into a, into a, into an argument where I have to put so many scenarios. So you just tell them to be brave, go out, to go to the toilet that's in the kebun there, yes. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. don't worry because you know already there's nothing. But at the same time, I cannot, I can't even go out, I can't even go out my house at night because I said, Papa said I won't go out because they want their burger in the middle of the night. I said no because it's good. And then, and then, they, 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 then they'll be conflicting. So I said I always, I always tell them what to do, not do what I do. You know, that's the most important thing. Okay, all right. So, sorry, what was the question? Going back to you. Uh, what, what do you feel that you feel that yeah. you're brave? Now at 50, yes. from dying, I'm not brave. Right. <laughs> but everything else, it's all just human actually. Yeah. So, uh, what we do is, is you know, we, what we do in life is actually the result of all our upbringing. Right. And there's nothing to be afraid about because you, if you you end up like uh, become a bum on the roadside because you didn't do something brave when you were small, it's it's all it's all what we do in life, you know. That's why I believe, and that's why I always advocate them. I always tell them, being stupid is a choice now, especially. You don't you, you have no you know everything there is on on your the phone that I gave you. If you're scared or, or not brave or something, Google it. Is it true or not or whatever. <laughs> Then you can find out, all right. So I wish I had internet when I was young, man. Yeah, you know? Yes and no. No, no, I wish. Yes no, 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 no. Yes no. and no. Because yes you know we. No, but then, I, I understand where you're coming from. Where you know there's certain things when you are small that yes. may. Uh, new. But then you, that's when you have good parents. Right. Like mm -hmm. sex education, right? I wouldn't want him to learn it from. Me. Oh, yes. Okay, right? Yes. Okay. But I know so from friends at school. And what did you learn that was right? And what, what did you learn that was like? I just learned the same thing. Oh, yeah. Like, you know. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Either, okay. The budget so, needs to, so to be put away. Yeah. Okay. But so to go back to that. Yeah. So I hear you saying, what you're saying is that I want them to make their own choices. I want them to be able to like be independent, find like go to dream big dreams and then go for it, right? But at the same time, what you've also just said is you do what I tell you to do, not what I not what you want to do. So on the one hand, you're saying, listen to yourself, believe in yourself. But on the other hand, you're saying, whatever you believe, listen to daddy and mama the first. Themselves, you got to pump in all the information to know, to make the right choices of the right things, right? right. So when, from small, I always believe you want a school or you want to discipline kids. It's always from small, not until they're 21, you say, oh, you cannot smoke now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you already allowed them to smoke at 13, for example. 21 baru you nak kata, oh cannot. You, so what I'm trying to say is, you got to feel the information first. Okay. And then at a certain age, you say, see, this is what I feel, what was right, what was wrong. Then at a certain age, then they should make informed decision about being independent or what's to be brave about. Now, instead of thinking of filling them with information, let's think of it instead of a box, right? These are your boundaries. Don't smoke at 13 or 21 or 51 or whatever. Don't smoke. These are your boundaries. But within those boundaries, I'm going to give you the freedom to be whoever you yeah, want yeah, to be. I mean, right? Or if you decide to smoke, these are the consequences. Yeah, this yeah, is, this yeah. is what happens. Yeah, but if you want this, your body, whatever. Yeah, at least yeah. you, you give them yeah, the information that yeah, they should yeah. have. Yes. But I know, I mean, don't get me wrong, respectful parenting is not just like you <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> you know, it's still, there's still a very firm box that says there are rules there because I do want to be respectful of society, of environment. I, I remember yeah. my son uh, two years ago, Mum, mm. when are you getting a tattoo? So, when am I getting a tattoo? <laughs> He's just trying, he wants to get oh. a tattoo. Oh. That's, yeah. so, That's how my yeah. wife talked to so. Oh, when I, oh, okay, okay, get out of I said, I, think the kids are hungry. I said, why do you want to get a tattoo for? And then he says, no, uh, mom, because he loves penguins. He said, he wants, I, said, I said, you know, I said, the reason I haven't gotten a tattoo because it's painful, really. And then after that, I decided I don't like it, it's going to be painful to remove. I said, that's the reason why I don't want a tattoo. Why do you want to get a tattoo? It's, it's kind of cool, mom. So what are you going to put first? I love mom. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Your son is a psychology. It worked, it worked. I said, no, no, of course not, of course not. He was just testing me. I said, when you're 18, your own money, do whatever. You know, to me, it doesn't bother me, right? I love mom. It's a pen. Permanent marker. Okay. Daphne mentioned about her daughter having to choose, you know, friends, and one was like slightly bullying and things like that. 
So I also have, my, my daughter has experience with bullies or with children, with other kids that lie and you know, when the kids, you know like, macam brag lie, lie brag, I don't know how you say it lah, you know, everyone wants to be up okay. sikit kan. So like, is there a limit that, that, you know, is there a situation that we want to ensure that is the right proper time or the moment for our kids to be brave or, you know, how does, I mean, is there the right time or, you know, because we're saying that, you know, okay, brave also means being vulnerable and, and things like that. But when you're in a situation like you're being bullied or mm. people are calling you names or, or you know, it, do you just like, how, how do you, how is the right way to react? Do we want to teach them like, no, yeah. you know, yeah. you jawab balik yeah, or yeah. you stand up for yeah. yourself, you know, do we do that or we say, you know what, that person has issues, never mind. So my, I tell my way first, huh? I tell yeah, my way yeah, first. Tell, tell me uh -huh. your way. So my way is that usually I don't interfere with my daughter's issues. Mm. Because this is what my dad taught me. Mm. So usually, you see, I have a, a younger sibling as well. Mm. So we have a 30, 30 year gap. Wow. So, year gap. so, you know, so... <laughs> so... So sometimes I get into this parenting argument with my dad yeah. because we're both parents, yeah. right? We're both parents. So and then I try to explain my parenting style yeah. and then of course I will get like, yeah, yeah. you know. So my dad will, made me realise once that, you know, do not interfere with your child's issues. She will learn, you know. So in the beginning, I always try to much like, why do you do that? You know, you should be like this, blah, 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 blah. And then when he said that to me, and I realised how I am a, as a person today, yes. due to his parenting style, because he always jokes and said, Ah, you okay, what? Okay. <laughs> you turn out fine. Parents, you <laughs> you turn out fine. <laughs> so then I realised, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I want to try this yes. stepping away from her issues and not try to solve her issues and tell her, you should do this, you should do that. So when she went through this, and I, I do this thing, you know, um, with my kids, I always tell them that whatever you decide to do, make sure the choice you make, you are willing to live with the consequence. Yes. If in that moment, there's an inkling of like, oh, maybe uh, I feel that I'm going to get, you know, regret. regret this. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. Simple. Yes. But if you're really so confident, yes and you want to do it, and that is the choice you are making, yes. you have to be ready to deal with whatever consequences that come out of it. And I've just been doing that. Mm. And I think that kind of works. I think that kind of works because then it makes them really stop and think, yes. rather than, you know, than just bulldozing and like... Ah! And again, yeah. it's ownership. Right, it's yeah. ownership. This is my choice. I'm willing to deal with the consequences because I believe passionately about this. Yeah. It's when we've done that, eh, I really shouldn't have, I knew better than to do that. Yeah. That's when we feel the shame yeah, and yeah. the guilt and the, oh, mama, I, I did something really, really bad. Right? Yeah, so. And I think, but more so than that, there's this guy that's really famous, um, he, he, uh, Piaget, and he's, he talks about how, you know, you can tell a child what to do, but won't they learn so much more if they have discovered it themselves. Yeah. yeah. I grew up yeah. like that. Yeah. No, so, but, but like I you said, Joe, at the start, we have to build the foundation. We have to give them the box to say, this is how, this is how you, this is how you're brave. This is how you're, you know, you think things out. Um, but then as they get older, we're allowed to like, sort of the box is still there because, and, and it's an invisible box, right? Um, and they will know. I always feel it's also a case of uh, age appropriate. So when Jude was younger and he had issues with classmates and there was this girl that was bullying him. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's funny now. But anyway, so he came to me and said, who's bullying you and everything? And then I, I I said, did you try, did you tell the teacher? Da, da, da. So and then after that, it came to the point where I had to, you know, meet, meet the girl's parents. Or I didn't get to meet girl's parents, but actually I confronted the girl. But when, that was when he was, that was when he was, that was when he was younger, right? right. So when he was older, I, I, I think it was more like that you can come to me when you have issues. So when he was yep. older, I said, are you okay in school? Because the teenager said, no mom, my classmates are great. And that's so little things. I remember he went on a camping trip two, three years ago and he fell down, right? And I said, I said, did anyone laugh at you? He said, no, everybody came in to help me. Mm. 
That's like, wow, you've got really nice glasses. So, so he knows, he will learn to you know, handle his issues right yeah. now. Yeah. But I think in the early days when he didn't know how to express himself, that was when I came in. As he gets older and the kind of questions I ask him, just to find out where he's at, what are your friends like, and um, so that age appropriate, right? So as he's older, he's learned to fend for himself. Um, he, if he was being bullied and he didn't know how to tell me, I had to ask the right questions to. Yeah. Mm. So I, I can tell from the situation yeah. he's got a good bunch of friends. I, I met most of them, good bunch of kids, and he's also told me about certain kids that he's moved away from mm. because, oh, mom, they do this, mm. they do this, they do this. I said, okay, you know, so yeah. so that kind of thing. So, I get that, but uh, I always believe in uh, in this sort of situation. Sometimes you have to be a Balkan, Balkan start right. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, black and white. For example, for example, you have you know, potential sexual predator going towards your yeah. kids. Oh. You got to say no immediately. Yeah. Come on, that one you have to need. But I mean, for example, like this, what you said that, you know, sometimes you just, what you do is you just move away. You find that person like me, you don't need to stand up to the guy, you just move away, you know, it's not so important. You know, so it, it depends on the situation now. Uh. When you must tell your children to to be brave at the spot or later, it depends on the what's happening at the time. And I think it's so important for parents to be brave, for their kids to be brave. I remember when Belle jumped a year and she was separated from her classmates. Mm. And I came in because I forgot to pass a document. So we, we went in to the school canteen just to say hi, la, one of those, you know, even though she's in year seven, you want to just say hi. And I saw her um, sitting alone on the table during makan time because all our other friends were all packed in one table and that was they were in different classes already um, and I went to him and I'm like oh, Christian, you know maybe we can pull string you know put her push her back so that she can be with her old classmates and he said no I went no let her you know and if of course as a mother who she you see Belle who's normally very eh, 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 and then she's there eating alone and she didn't see us at that time I said bola so I went I went Belle and she was she was tearing up. And of course, like I'm like, oh my god, my ear. And she barely shows her tears to us, right? So I'm like, I'm holding my tears, holding my tears. I'm like, like Belle, are you okay? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. And she goes like, oh, um, I'm sitting here because, you know, it's a bit packed. So automatically, she, she wants she to, to, sh better, to make yeah. things better, right? Yeah. So again, I went to him, I said, let's go talk to the teacher. I'm sure they can just fill in one, you know? But he said, no, you have to. And now she's happy. Okay. But you, I had to hold back. I had to, and he, and he was right all this while because he said, "Stop it! Don't you're, you're, you know, you're coddling her. Stop it! Just let her be. She's year seven. Let her be." But it really did break my heart seeing her, the way she was alone in the canteen. And if I, I don't know. But now she's fine. Spe speaking of bullying, so um, at my daughter's school, there's like older kids and younger kids. And then one day she comes home and she said, Mama, I really wanted to play. So she was getting bullied on the playground oh. because the older kids, like, you know, chop yeah. the, the yeah. cool yeah. toys. And then she said, I, I was so nice to them and still they didn't want to be my friends. And as a mama, you just want to go back and you're like, <laughs> and then instead you have to be like, Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. <laughs> like, Strong mama. So. Right, but then more so than that, what it's taught, like you empower her. So we talked about what can you do and that, and that it's okay that sometimes people don't want to be friends with you. I think we don't tell them in, that enough that yeah. like, sometimes those are just not your tribe. See, that's right? a conversation yeah. I had Do you? Myself. Yeah. 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 Tribe, huh? No, it's all this new tribe. Tribe, yeah, so your friend, your kawan. <laughs> I tak masuk story tu. Okay, yeah, not your tribe. Mm. So no, but I've had to have that conversation as well because I've, uh, you know, had to deal with my son crying that nobody wanted to be friends with him. You know, but he's an introvert, so it's not like he goes out and make friends. It's very yes, different, right? Yes. So that probably that one friend, and up till today, he says to me that what I told him was the best advice. And he will keep it to heart forever. He what said. was the advice? No, I said that you know, um, you need. I mean, if people want to be your friend, they will be your friend. But at the end of the day, happiness is not about having friends. Oh, you yeah, need yeah, to yeah. have happiness yeah. within yourself. Yeah, exactly. If you can make yourself happy with your company or whatever, right. you will oh, not God. need to, you know, depend on someone to give you that happiness. Mm. So until today, I, I don't know whether I encourage the introvertness, no, but no, <laughs> but no, I you... quite worried also sometimes. Eh, budak ni tak nak keluar bilik ni yeah. macam main game aja, yeah. like you know. But 
He says that he's very comfortable being on his own. Yes. And he's fine if he's around friends at school, so but so he doesn't so depend on having that friend to, yeah. Yeah, to, to validate yeah. him. Because exactly. that's, how that's how you get in trouble, right? Like you get yeah, yeah. validation in the wrong yeah. place. Mommy yeah. learned the hard way. Yes, yeah. so. I mean, we've all learned that lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> learned that lesson. Can. You want to be yeah. alone, I mean, just make sure the tissue boxes are there. Ask the first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I think, think about Belle, like, Belle then came back and made friends because yeah. it, was, it was hard enough and she realised, actually, it's no fun eating alone. How do I then be friends with these people that already have their people, right? right. Like, I'm sure she tried different techniques, different ways, you know, sort of like, <laughs> you know, and, and she has to figure it out because as she goes older, you're not going to be there to go in there and save them. Let me just say one thing about mummies with boys, okay? You are not their boy girlfriends, okay? I don't plan to be. Yeah. Don't yeah. lie to me, oh, la. Okay? Yeah, that's all. I this is the problem, I, mommy. I, I, I mean, like with my son, he's like, I always tell him, I said, you know, if you are ever in trouble, you need to know that I'm the first one you need to call. He said, who else? Aww. You know, who else? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm being like told again. I always overrun, always. You only yeah. Two questions, right? I three, three. We got to three. We got to three. See, that's why every time I, I like, you know, they want you to send questions. I'm like, really? <laughs> send questions. So I'll do five, and then they make fun of me at the office because they say like, ah, five is more than enough. So yeah, so it's usually the case, but. I usually just do like a summary as well. That's why I uh, uh, you summarize, you pre summarize my summary. Because you can move to the next question. Okay, anyway. so, so we just go around the table and share what your thoughts are about, you know, children being brave as a parent mm -hmm. or parenting. And, you know, like Rachel says, like respectful parenting. How, how does that fit with you? So, Maybe we want to start with Joe first? Well, one thing I really learned today which was quite revelating when you said that, that why, why, not, uh, why, why crying does not mean also being brave. Because that really hit me, man. Yeah, crying actually is just an emotional uh, reaction. Yeah. So it's not like, it's just that's it. Yeah. It's not that you're not brave. You, yeah. I think women cry more, but I see now my son is crying more than women. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think that one we should separate first because, you know, growing up, you, why you cry? Huh? You scared? You know? So, that, that I think is totally wrong. That's, I always believe it's wrong how we raised uh, kids back then. So, we must separate that. Bravery is a total different thing. Lah. Bravery is about uh, trying new things, you know, not to be afraid to speak out what, what you like, what you don't like, you know. But when you cried along the way, it doesn't mean that you're not brave. So that, I think that was the wrong stigma lah, back then. That's why, you know, that's how you want to say it. I think you can encourage your child to be resilient and courageous by being a, a good role model. But um, so you can offer them uh, places or avenues for them to explore other avenues to, to, you know, that they're not in the comfort zone and everything. And you can do it with them. But give them also informed information about, oh, this is this, and then let them make the decision. Because at the end of the day, it's their body, it's their individual you know, right to do what they want to do. So don't push them, but you, you give them the encouragement, but you don't force them. So I think that's very important in making your child step out of their comfort zone and be brave about it. Um, for me, uh, Brene Brown. Uh, oh, I love her. I love her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, boy or girl, there is strength in vulnerability. Yes. Let's oh, not yes. lose touch of that. Yes. Um, and I think more so for, for men to know that, you know, the fact that you can cry, you can what, there is strength in that, there is no shame in that. Yes. Respect that. So, so the teacher and me has three last points to summarize. I mean, the first thing is definitely absolutely role model, role model, um, bravery, role model, what it feels like, role model. You know, are you telling your kid enough about what bravery looks like? Because we learned today, bravery is not crying, mm. right? Bravery is courage, right? To do the things that doesn't feel like it's courageous right now. Um, so role modeling. The second thing is your tribe, which we talked a lot, mm. tribe, kawan, community, whatever you call it. Does it feel safe for them to be brave? Are we, are we creating a space for them that when they are brave, that we're not shaming them for it? 
Mm. You know, when they're brave enough to cry in front of daddy who doesn't want me to cry, are we saying, shame on you? Are we saying, You've, you let out your feelings today. Thank yep. you for sharing it with me. And then the last point is, is are we giving them opportunity to celebrate bravery? So many times we forget, I mean, I'm a mom, I'm a woman, I'm a wife, I'm a girl, and I forget to celebrate my successes. And that's where I fail. Yeah. And so am I celebrating bravery when you've done something brave, even if, even if it's as simple as telling daddy how you felt, even though daddy was so angry, that was very brave of you. I don't agree with it, but that was very brave of you to do that. Are we taking a moment to celebrate successes? Wow. I feel like I've lost for, lost <laughs> for words already. Yeah. So I just want to, you know, one of the reasons why I thought it was important to speak about bravery mm. is because I think, one, um, Parenting style has changed over the years. We, we've definitely changed parenting style. I think parents are, uh, you know, what's that term? Awaken to, you know, woke. Yeah, woke. woke yeah, huh? <laughs> parents are woke also. So, and because we have all this excess and we learn from our experience, I think uh, if in the past we used to think that parenting is an opposite reflection of how we were parent, you know, or oh, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like my parents. I don't. And then you realize actually it's about building your style of parenting. Yes. It, it's yes. not like, I mean, you know, we can go and see Rachel as a coach, but when we get home, you, you cannot you. bring Rachel home, yes. you see. Yes. So you yes. have to find your own way, you yes. know, to parent your child. So whatever fits your child's personality, I think that is most important. Mm -hmm. And like what Rachel said, celebrate um, celebrate being brave and not just the fact that they're brave but their personality because you can't just assume like oh my kid needs to be an A star student or my yeah. kid needs to be the next ballerina or my kid needs to be the computer computer you know whiz or something like yes. that your kid might be just your kid and yes. I think that's enough for him or her to be celebrated so this Mother's Day um, because this is a special for Mother's Day that's why we want to talk about parenting and um, and parenting is not just a woman's job. It's a man's job too, you know. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so you know. So just um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you to all my guests today. Um, and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. No, not yet, not yet. Almost. Just in case you were wondering. It's a, because we cannot eat during fasting month.